This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip to tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members-only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today, Tuesday morning, Victory Tuesday, we're going to take a recap, take a look and recap the Ravens' 33-19 victory over the San Francisco 49ers. Impressive, impressive, impressive. What I do is kind of talk about the drive-by-drive -drive stuff that I took notes on, and then I'll kind of give an overview of how I felt each side played and, and, and go from there. And if anything pops up in my head while I'm doing this, Talk about that too. Let's start off with the basically the drive by drive synopsis of what happened. Um, first drive, we started off shaky. I uh, had a drop, but I think by Bateman we ended up going three and out. Uh, first defensive drive, Kittle was doing his thing on us, had a couple big catches, um, but they ended up throwing the interception in the red zone. Um, for some reason, Brock Purdy, he didn't hold Kyle to the right side or whatever the route was. Kyle decided not to, to I ain't going to say cover it, but not like just stay on top of it. He just kind of sat in his in the cover two shell and watched Brock eyes. And when Brock came toward the middle, because Debo was open, had the safety split like they were supposed to, but Kyle never moved. And when he threw the ball to, to Debo, which is the same touchdown they got later on in the, in the game, the safety just was there. Kyle was there, got the first interception, was a big tone setter for the rest of the game. Second offensive drive. Uh, we got a safety when Lamar fell over the umpire. Lamar was going right uh, and abruptly turned left, and the umpire just couldn't get out of the way. He fell. Lamar fell over him. It resulted in intentional grounding. Intentional grounding in the end zone is a safety. That's why they got their points. So they ended up being up 5-0. to zero. No, not 5-0. to zero. Two zero. They ended up being 2-0. That was the first points of the game, that safety. But uh, on D in that second drive, we um, we tackled better, tackled better. But we got a penalty on fourth down that extended their drive, and they ended up getting a field goal out of it and made it um, five to zero. And that's when we kind of started to get ourselves together because offensively to start the game, it was real shaky. Looked like that the 49ers were going to have us off our rocker, and we started to figure stuff out. But, again, I always say when you get off the script offensively and defensively, that's when real football starts. And I think that around this time of the game, we got off the script, realized that, hey, they're going to do this to this. They're going to react to this, and let's let's put it together and, and do what we need to do. All right, so the third offensive possession. Uh, Isaiah likely drew a P.I. on a scramble drill, which was a big play. We also got another face mask later on in that drive that extended the drive even further. But the 49ers D did tighten up in the red zone, and um, – we didn't score. We ended up getting a field goal from, from Tuck, which made it 5-3. to three. But, again, not in the bad spot. Had a horrible start. Scores 5-3 to three on our third offensive possession. So, good. We still good. No panic here. No no sense of urgency. It's just, just good football. Two best teams going at it, blow for blow. And that's what was happening early in the game. So, they got the ball back for their third possession. And Kittle was still eating us up. Kittle was carving, carving us up. But what happened, you know, right after that, they called a cat blitz by Brandon Stevens. Uh, Brandon Stevens basically batted the ball up on the cat blitz because he surprised Brock coming off the edge, and Marlon got an interception from it. So it's interception number two. So the grocers were doing a good job of, of forcing turnovers. That, they did a good job of forcing turnovers and, and giving them different looks and different things that they probably hadn't seen. And Mike has always done a good job this year of showing you one thing pre-snap and it being something post-snap always and so this job this this chance it worked out cat blitz worked out and it ended up being the two corners in on the play which is crazy <laughs> brandon stevens batted the ball he's one corner marlin intercepted it. he's the other corner so that's the second interception um so our third our fourth offensive possession it started off with a nice rpo debatement which i hope to see a lot more of that 
but Bateman, in my eyes, did have a couple drops. Um, got Flowers working in space. And again, a bad drop by by Bateman on the side, like the left sideline, if I'm not mistaken. Clearly turned his head before he caught the ball. Drop pass, you know, hopefully bounce back from it and it don't lead to other stuff. But uh, ended up getting a touchdown that drive on fourth down. Gus powered in and put us up 10 to 5. So now we got the lead and we're starting to roll now. We got play from play ahead. Uh, still, we what I like about this is we had certain penalties that kind of put us behind the sticks and we kind of overcame them in big situations. So we played good fundamental, well, I'm not fundamental, good situational football. Good situational football. Uh, their fourth possession, that's when Debo started to do his thing. I, I got down here, Debo was hard to tackle. <laughs> he he wherever he gets the ball at, he turns into a wrecking ball and and, and does his thing. Uh, but next, Hamilton got stoned at the line of scrimmage trying to blitz. Got up, kind of wandered around a little bit and started chasing the play down. And lo and behold, found another interception. Interception number two. And they had they had two penalties on that play that we both declined to keep the interception. So now you're sitting at three turnovers, three interceptions, two of them for Kyle Hamilton, one for Marlon Humphreys. And again, defense is Doing the damn thing. Now, our fifth offensive possession, Zay, well, Zay dropped the ball twice, I think. One definitely was a drop. And the other one maybe was a little inaccurate, but I still think he should have caught both of them. In my eyes, that's two drops on Zay, and we, we end up going three and out and get a field goal to make it 13 to five. Um, they get the ball back. CMC finally gets loose and breaks about a 40-yard gain, and um, they end up getting in the end zone to make it 12 to 13, if I'm not mistaken, with about three minutes left before halftime. That, CMC had two big runs on outside zone on that play. And, you know, for the most part, we had him bottled up. But I think most of his yardage came on that drive when he got those two big outside run, outside zone runs. Uh, our sixth possession, which was basically a two-minute drill, kind of started with three minutes left. Uh, had a huge catch by Bateman on the opening. But we got a penalty from Simpson. Um Lamar had an amazing cross-body throw to Likely on this play. He was scrambling, saw Likely, basically threw across his body. Likely did a great job of keeping the ball off the ground and avoiding it getting knocked down, and it was a great catch and a great throw and just overall great play by the Ravens. Um, shortly after, Simpson gave up another sack. But, but, the next, I don't know if it was the next play or maybe two plays later, we were in scramble drill again, and we did a great job of Scramble drill. The entire team, Lamar did a good job of working through the pocket and getting out of the pocket, not just trying to stay there as much as he had been in the past. And the receivers did a good job of of breaking and separating and 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 just working with the quarterback in scramble drill. And in this case, Zay ended up getting a holding call. He he came up first. The defender came up with him, so he was doing a good job of sticking. He put his foot in the ground, tried to get vertical, which kind of shocked the defender. He grabbed him and got a holding penalty, which extended that drive. Um. Had a big catch from Kolar. This is two weeks in a row. Kolar has contributed with huge catches. Um, so maybe he's starting to get comfortable. And maybe Lamar's getting a little trust with him too because he had the big catch in Jacksonville down the scene. And had a big catch in a two-minute drill last night. Uh, got a face mask by Ronnie. But again, this I said we started to overcome those um, those penalties. Uh, after that face mask, Lamar made one of probably the best throws I've seen all year. He threw a sidearm dot to Zay Flowers on the sideline. And, like, he basically dropped almost all the way down like a sidearm pitcher, got the ball with perfect accuracy in front of a defender to Zay Flowers on the sideline. That's one of the better throws I've seen Lamar make all year. And he got a bunch of good throws. That was top tier right there. Uh, but, again, stall out. Um, third and 16, Lamar had a great scramble, which got us into the red zone, but we ended up getting a field goal because time kind of got away from us. We, um, I think we, had, we got the field goal four seconds left, and that ended up taking us to the halftime. We ended up halftime 16 to 12, which was good. The two best teams going blow for blow, and, you know, you get what you get. You just, that's what you expect they, for them to go back and forth. The two best teams in the league coming out of halftime. They get the ball back, so the positions really don't – nobody really got a, a – um, Advantage possession wise, but we stopped them on three and out coming out of halftime, which was huge. Which was huge. Wallace got a nice punt return after that, and also on that same punt return was a late hit by the punter, which gave us another 15 yards. Had a big pass by Gus on a broken play where he was the he chipped, then Lamar kind of scrambled and he just kind of floated into an open space. 
Lamar hit him for about 30, 40 yards, or so another big game. And then on that drive, we end up getting a touchdown to Nelson Aguilar, which was on another scramble drill. Nelly um, ran his initial route, which was a quick out. Lamar started to scramble. He went up the sideline in the end zone, stopped on a dime, came back. And when he stopped on a dime, Lamar threw a dime. That was a touchdown that put us up 23 to 13, 23 to 12. Shortly thereafter, maybe the next play, their offensive play, interception by Pat Queen, which was huge. Then as um, soon as the interception happened, we did a fake toss to, I want to say it was Justice, and then hit Zay right up the scene behind the, behind the linebackers for a touchdown. That put us up 33 to 12. And from that point on, it was it was us just trying to, I ain't going to say hold on, but it, it was kind of clear that it was, it was our night. Um, they got the ball back, and they had a big drop by Debo on third down. They punted. We got it back on the five-yard line. Thinking we was gonna go the entire ninety some odd yards. No, that put us up thirty, not thirty three. That put us up thirty. But we did. We got we nice long drive. Justice Hill had a big big run and catch. Uh, drive stalls in the red zone. I didn't like the quarterback run and on third down. I didn't like it. I felt like you know should have give it to Gus or maybe even give it to Ricard on that. But I just didn't like the quarterback run. But I mean it is what it is. We got three out of it, and that gave us thirty three. And, st- and you know, I was mistaken earlier when I said 33. That field goal gave us 33. We ended up taking a – I think we took a delay of game to give Tucker more room and a better angle to make that field goal. So right now we're sitting at 33 to 19. I mean 33 to 12. Uh, knocked Brock Purdy out. I think they said he had another stinger, which is what they say he had last week. Kittle was still eating. Uh, this is the drive where Marlowe got a bead on Kittle running the bubble screen, and he blasted Debo. Blasted Debo. I might have said Kittle, but I meant Debo. He blasted Debo. Debo ate it. Kept on going down the field. Like he hit he hit Debo with all everything he had. Debo ate it. Kept on running down the field, which was crazy. And if you saw the um IG live, you'll see where Calvin Noah asked asked Marlo about it and he kind of go in depth on how he felt about it. <laughs> which was funny. Um now we starting to get, we finna start to get our sacks. We finna start to get our sacks. For us, for us and for them. Ten possession, we got sacked. Uh, we punt. George thought with a nice punt. Uh, their ten set, their ten possession. Calvin Noah got a sack. Bad tackling shows up. They start breaking tackles, especially Ayuk. Uh, then Clowney gets one of his sacks. Then we get we miss an interception. The very next play, they throw a touchdown. Missing interception, the very next play, they throw a touchdown. So now it's 33-19. We get the ball back, go three and out, which I didn't say I got nervous, but, you know, start getting a little jitters. But we up 14 at this point, three and out. I only took like a minute and 30 seconds off the clock. It had made me a little nervous, a little nervous. But then on defense, Urban got a sack. Um, Ayuk with a big big slant. And now Ayuk, I'm telling you, man, a lot of people sleep on that kid. That kid legit. That kid is legit. Um, another play from IU could cause the uh, PI on Brandon Stevens, and that led to their uh, another score for them. No, 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 didn't get another score. They got to the one, and we bagged them up. We bagged them up. Got a sack from Clowney. Got a, no, not sack by Clowney. Got a sack from um, Urban. Clowney should have had the sack. He missed it, and then got him on fourth and long, and Marcus Williams got an interception to. In the game, so that that's kind of the the drive by drive of what happened, and the big things that stuck out to me in my notes. But what the people I really want to give a shout out to, and obviously Lamar for doing his thing, but that's the obvious choice. Man, the O line, the O line. If I'm not mistaken, we had two sacks, but just think about what they got on their defensive line, the linebacker, and I look at the time that Lamar had to to make some of the throws he had. Shout out to the O line, man. I mean. All seven of them cats. Ronnie, Simpson, Linderbaum, Zeitler, Morgan Moses, Valele, um, McCarry, and Ben eight, and Ben Cleveland, because Ben Cleveland had to play too. All eight of them cats. Hey, salute to y'all, man. Y'all did y'all thing for the most part. And I don't know how it looked from the, the all 22 breakdown of each play, but looking at it with the naked eye, y'all held y'all on versus Damn good defense. So shout out to the O line. I always crack jokes about O line, but you got to give props where props are due. And they did their damn thing yesterday. They did. 
I did. And I know a lot of it is Lamar, you know, dancing and doing what he do in the pocket, but still. 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 It, I mean, that it, for what for what the 49ers have on their defensive front, it could have been ugly. It could have been ugly, and it wasn't. They handled their business. So shout out O-line. Um, groceries. And Mike McDonald. Bruh. <laughs> Freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome for what they do on that side of that ball. The, all the different, the communication, the the playmaking, the every different people making making plays, uh, rejuvenated Clowney, Van Oy coming off the couch, um, whispers of Kyle being a deep defensive player of the year. Brandon Stevens ended up being the better of the two cornerbacks, but Marlowe getting on the board today. Marlowe played a hell of a game. Marlowe not only got an interception, he forced some tips. Marlowe played a hell of a game. And, um, you know, other than other than John calling that, challenging that play, man, I was satisfied with the coaching too. I was satisfied with the coaching too. So this is, this is my recap of last night's game. I appreciate you guys for coming through, listening to uh, me talk about and be excited about what happened last night. We are the number one team in the NFL right now. No ifs and buts about it. We 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 are him, all of us, whole flock nation. We are him, so to speak. So um, I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me on a victory Tuesday, victory Tuesday morning. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, 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 share. We're less than a hundred away from nine thousand. So hey, let's try to get that nine thousand number um, before this run is over. And I appreciate you guys for coming through. Peace and love. See y'all soon. Flock Nation.